more newbie here in this video I'm going to show you how to import images to the PS4 without the need for a USB. So if you're a PS4 player and want to learn how to make awesome gaming videos using ShareFactory on the PS4 plus learn how to do more on YouTube and other PS4 related stuff then this is the channel for you so please do subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on future videos like this. So this video is going to show you how to import images onto the PS4 without the need for a USB stick. So you may have seen my other video which shows you how to import images with a USB but this video is for those of you that don't want to use a laptop or a PC to get the images. So we found these images here and I'm going to show you how to import those. So what we need to do is go onto the internet browser on our PS4 and then type into the search free images okay and that then gives you various different options on the internet that you can go into I have used a website called Pixabay uh, I can't recommend any website so it's up to you to find which ones you want but this one I like because it seems to be uh, copyright free images which is obviously important so I, what you can do is find various different images there's so many on this website and I'm going to just click on this one here and it takes us further into it and then you'll just see here it says free for commercial use no attribution required okay so that's good to know so what we can do is use the controller and push the right analog stick and if we click on it once it zooms in click on it again it zooms in even more and then we can just center it using the left stick and then get the arrow uh, or the cursor slightly out the way and we need to push share button on the controller once and then push the uh, cross button to take a screenshot. Once we've done that we can leave the internet browser and go into Share Factory and we can go into Photos and New Project. Then we can choose whichever theme we want to use uh, for editing the photo and if we want to add images and that. And these are the photos that I've taken or the images that I've imported. So I'm just going to choose the one that we've just done there but I did do a couple of others earlier which were shown there and then you've got the options of adding the different frames layouts and that okay you can remove the border like that and you can also push um, the cross button to edit the photo and if your screenshot wasn't perfect you can zoom in to um, get rid of some of the outline if you couldn't get a, a true full picture sh uh, screenshot of it so uh, you can see here uh, if we go back one there you go there's a slight border on the edge there so we can go in one step into the zoom and confirm and then it's just the rest is editing to get it exactly how you want it. So we're also going to use these images for um, one of my next videos, which is how to add a um, YouTube profile picture using Share Factory. So do keep an eye out for that one as well. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe and turn on notifications and look out for the future videos. Thanks.